practicing all day long here, you're going to have pretty mashed up fingers, won't you? So in about 1960s they developed this because they could, with you know, foam and plastics and they have a piston inside here that moves around really, really nicely. What I want you to know is, is that in real sorting you don't really, really want to block, but at our beginning level we might as well start learning a little rhythm. So watch how this rhythm works. Would you uh, come over here and give me that sort. Okay. Come over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just start a little rhythmatic thing, okay? And like this and bring it around, work it in. What I'm going to do is I don't have to go really fast. Let's move out of the way of this. Let me back over here. Okay. I'm going to start working it in. And what it does is it's going to work my wrist. It's going to allow me to keep my hands above my head because you know when you fight with karate, for example, there's a tendency to drop your guard, and everybody has that problem. So what you do is you start going back and forth like this until you get a rhythm down, and then you start throwing sudiyage in like that. See how that works? See the difference here? And then you go back and forth. And I'm going to try to hit him in the stomach. And you just block it out. See how this works? So now you're learning how to get in and out of the situation because you remember the best block is no block at all. So if you sudiyage this, and get out and in, you have less chance of getting hit, okay? And then you can just go like this and just block it around and not even have to see it because you know where your body is all the time. You know where your blocking is all the time, and I've been doing this for 30 years. So that helps a little bit. So everybody find their partner again.